Wow. Wow. Okay. It is very nice to be here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I really appreciate you. Oh, thank you, my living boyfriend right there. One glass of sherry in him, and he goes nuts. And I question, I marvel at people that are in relationships, long time, you know, you're married, right? How long? 13 years. How commendable to me. Five years. That's the best I've ever done. I'm 52. I mean, five years. You think about it. I think, you know, since I've been 18, I've probably been in 10 serious relationships. I mean, what are the odds of meeting that many screwed up women in a row? It's, it's got to be astronomical. 13 years. It's amazing how we even end up in relationships, you know, and, and, and what's the dynamic that even starts them. You ever been having sex with somebody and in the middle of it all, in the heat of passion, you say, I love you, but you don't really mean it. <laughs> and then you're stuck with them for the next 13 years. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff. As I get older, I just, you know, and maybe it's the age thing. You know, you hit 50. 50 does a number on you. Anybody here who's turned 50, man, psh, that'll humble your ego. huh? Turn 50, suddenly realize your life's almost a third over at this point, right? <laughs> you know what it is? It's hard to be cool the older you get. When you're young, it's easy to be cool. But I like to think I'm still hip. Standing up here in a Hugo Boss suit with gold bond powder and a corn pad between my toes. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> I had a scare, man, about a year or two ago. I'm, uh, I, was, uh, I didn't feel good. I was like all pale. My friends all had to be convinced. You're getting ready to have a heart attack, dude. And I'm, uh, well, who knows? I don't know. And they get me convinced, convinced I'm going to have a heart attack. So they have me go to this big, renowned heart center. They know, oh, you've got to go to the heart center. And I freak. Because the minute I pull into this heart center, you see that heart center in a building. I'm crying, oh, jeez. I go in, the whole lobby is nothing but old people. I mean, you could have found older if you'd had a shovel to dig them up with. You know. You know, I'm on the phone to my girlfriend who doesn't even believe I'm there because she doesn't think I have a fucking heart. So, <laughs> right. So anyway, cardiologist comes down, talks to me. Now he looks like he's 12, but those Indians are hard to gauge. You can't, you can't get a fix. On, uh, you know. And he tells me, oh, what we want to do, Mr. Hastings, we want to do something called a catheterization. We're going to take this tube, stick it in your femoral artery, run it all the way up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, I've got no health care. Is this over $200? Really? Is this something I can do myself? Seems easy enough, like cleaning a bong, essentially, isn't it? They want to shoot dye into my system. I'm trying to cut corners there. How about that writ, that laundry dye? You ever use that? What do they do Easter eggs with? I think Paws makes it. Why don't we try that? Anyway, he tells me this is a standard procedure. It's done all the time, you know, but he's adamant that I sign this document titled Next of Kin. Now, you think about that for a minute. Next of Kin has to be the only hillbilly legal term in existence. <laughs> Who's coming down from the holler to fetch a corpse? Well, it's probably obvious to most of you that I'm a farmer. That's essentially what I do. I farm. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have not farmed that long. I've only been a farmer about two years. I, uh, I've been an urban guy my whole life. I always lived, I lived in New York, Los Angeles. I lived in San Francisco for a while. And, you know, I was coming on 50, and I said, you know what? 
to hell with this. I'm going to go back to Midwest where I'm from. I'm going to get myself a farm. You know? Well, I'll be honest. I don't even know how I got a farm. My credit score is six. I had to use my speedway points on my financial statement. So I get this farm, and I don't know how many of you here have ever lived rural or in the country, but she's it, it is creepy out there. If you're not, it is creepy. They'll tell you at night, sun goes down, pitch black. Did you know that at night, possum walking through a cornfield sounds exactly like three men with an axe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what kind of owl makes this sound? You're gonna die. <laughs> I've tried growing crops, but you'd find more cornrows on an NFL team than I could pull off my land. Well, so I called Mr. Grimes. He's the county ag agent for my county. You know, like the Mr. Kimball dude, right? And I call him, he comes out, you know, takes soil samples, talks to me extensively about my background. <laughs> well, he tells me the best thing for me to plant is a for sale sign in the front yard. <laughs> it is not easy, my friend, on the farm. you have any idea what well water does to highlights? Do you have any? You don't... <laughs> You know what? It's the implements, the farming equipment you got to use. You don't, I'll tell you, you don't realize that the equipment you have to do, use. A lot of it is farming, is, I've learned, is about, you know, it's all managing, taming nature and working with. Na I had to buy a chainsaw. <laughs> the most hor Anybody here ever run a chainsaw? Ever run a chainsaw? I'll tell you. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. You ever read the instruction booklet to a chainsaw? You'd never start one. They're horrifying. There's something right called kickback can happen any time, any place. You're just sort of it. Come back, cut your hope and head right in half. Happens so quick, so fast, you're alive and you know you're dead. Jesus, I'm dead. Page one, just a picture of a stick figure with the legs flying off of it. No, don't do this. Page two, a picture of a cooler with instructions how to pack severed limbs for later reattachment. <laughs> First four days I had it, I wouldn't even start it. I just tried sawing with a bar. You know how fucking hard that is? <sighs> Finally, a week goes by. Okay, I'm ready. I got the balls now. I'm going to start this thing. I fill it full of gasoline. Spend 20 minutes trying to start it. It won't start. You know why it wouldn't start? Yeah, two cycle. Something called two cycle. You have to you have to measure out oil and pour it in the gasoline. Three dollars a gallon. I still have to complete the refining process. You've been great. I've been Drew Hastings.